right, beauties. So, uh, you know, I keep everything in my dresser. I already had Kayla pull this drawer out for me. This drawer right here is a hot ass mess. Um, this is all of my primers, like eye primers, standard primers, all of my setting sprays, you know, essences, toners, um, toners, beauty blenders, beauty sponges, and um, powders. Yeah, and as you can see, we are about to explode out of this drawer, so this is going to be really hard. Again, I'm going to go through it as quickly as I possibly can, um, really kind of showcase super positives or negatives. Um, yeah, BRB. All right, beauties, let's dive in. Again, I'm going to try to go as quickly as I possibly can. I think I'm doing good on these declutters, y'all. Y'all let mama know. Um, so yeah, I think... Uh, um, We'll start with powders. This drawer is just too much. There's too much in here. I don't even have room for it. So first up is my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in shade 2. Um, I actually recently panned this, and I think it's going to be gone very soon, and I already bought it back up. So she's a yes. <laughs> we have our e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder in shade medium. Yes. We have two of these Fenty powders. I did get these. I got these in like a boxy pop-up or an add-ons for incredibly inexpensive. I have the butter and I also have the lavender. I think because I have way too much powder and you guys know I don't use a lot anyways. Let's keep the one we've opened and we will declutter this one. So yes, no. Next up is my um, Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. No, it's just a little too drying on me. I know people swear by this, but it just does not work for me personally. So that's a no. Next up, I'm just going to pull all these out. Yeah, next up I have all my It Cosmetics Foundations powders. And yeah, we're going to quickly go through these. These are a Holy Grail status product in case you haven't noticed that. So I have both the Celebration Foundation with SPF of 50 and also the Airbrush Perfecting CC powder also with SPF of 50. Um, I use these nonstop and this is all I typically use if I'm going to be outdoors in the summertime. So I have shade medium. You can see it's almost gone. I also have the shade tan, which is what I've been currently using. Um, this is actually what I do in lieu of like a spray or something like that when we're going out in the pool. I will spray my body and then I will load this up on my face. But I love it so much, like so, so much. Um, I have the It Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. I don't really think I've used this much, if at all. Um, yeah, I think I might have used it one time. I will go ahead and declutter this because it's not something that offers coverage or the SPF in the way that I like from the other one. I have another Celebration Foundation. <laughs> Bless you. And this is the shade Light. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this as well only because it doesn't have the SPF. Bless you! Um, because it doesn't have the SPF and that's kind of why I use these particular products. I also have the CC with the SPF of 50 also in tan. I try to have both. I try to have both formulas in light, medium, and tan. So I'm gonna hold on to that as well. And then I have another one, Celebration Foundation SPF of 50 in tan. <laughs> um, this one actually, I don't know why I've opened both to use them. I think because I only use the tan, obviously, right now at the end of summer, I'll keep one and declutter the other um, because with it having SPF in it, of course, you don't want it to go bad or expire. So I'll keep one and declutter the other one. Then I also have another CC, the SPF of 50, also in medium. Um, this one is the standard one, and this one is the Illumination. I think I'm going to keep both because I know this one's going to be panned pretty quickly, so I'll also keep these. Next up, I have my Laura Geller. This is her Baked, Balance, and Brighten Powder Foundation in medium. Because I like the finish of the It Cosmetics more, and I have a plethora of them, I'm going to go ahead and say no to this. Next is my KVD Lock It Powder Foundation in the shade Light 48. Um, again, I have enough. I like the It Cosmetics one better, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one as well. Next is my little She Glam uh, Warm Sand 103 little powder. Um, you could use this as like a foundation or a standard powder. I feel like I have enough, and this was slightly drying on me, so for that reason, I'm going to say no. Next up is my LYX Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder um, in Resilience or Translucent. And I think I am going to hold on to this. And I think I am going to hold on to this because I don't have very many pressed type of powders or translucent powders. So for that reason, I'll keep this one. Next is my Becca the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Um, you can see I used a lot of this. We got this a long time ago in Boxy, but it no longer has that kind of wet, weird, cool feeling that it used to have, so I'm actually going to trash this particular product. Next up is my NYX High Glass Finishing Powder in Medium. It's a yes. been using it all summer long. 
Next, we have the number seven Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Finishing Powder in the shade Light Medium. And we'll hold on to this. This is a yes. Next up is my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, just in translucent. I kind of feel the same way with this as I do with the Hourglass. It kind of puffs up like a little bit too much and kind of gets into my throat and my nose and stuff. And it's slightly too drying for me, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one as well. Next, I have my NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana. Um, I almost panned this one. I intended on panning it this year, but I did not get the chance. Of course, I try a ton of new products, but this is a beautiful formula. I have used these for years. I cannot tell you how many I've gone through, but I am going to go ahead and declutter it because it is quite old and I just haven't been reaching for it as much lately, so we're going to toss that one. Next up is my Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder, kind of the same exact thing. I've used a couple of these. It's a beautiful little, it's a beautiful finish, a beautiful formula, but I am going to go ahead and toss this. Next up, I have my little Gigi Gorgeous Turnt Touch Up Powder. This one is also panned and it's also a little bit older, so we're going to say no. I have my Avon Magic's Dust Finishing Powder. This is just a translucent, so I am going to pass that along. Next, I have this little um, translucent powder from One Size. I actually have, haven't even tried this yet, so I need to test it out, so I'll keep that, obviously. All right, beauties, we're moving on to our sprays. If this starts to get too long after the sprays, I may wait to do like the toners and primers, but I'm, again, trying to go very, very quickly. So first up, I have the MAC Fix Plus. I have one in lavender and a regular one. I think, honestly, I'm going to hold on to the lavender one. I just really like that, and I'll pass this one along, even though this is one of my favorite setting sprays of all time. I love it. So no and yes. Next up, I'll try to pull a couple at a time. Um, I have this little Relax Facial Mist Hibiscus and Chamomile and I have the Jar Cosmetics Slate All Day. No, yes. Love the scent of this. Love how it looks, but the sprayer absolutely is not good. Um, and I've used these many times. Tony sent this to me. She sent them to me a couple times before. None of them have ever sprayed like this. It's like one big spray to the face like a water gun. So no, yes. <laughs> Next up, we have the In Beauty Project, the dual phase setting mist and then we also have the julep mist much coconut water facial mist both are new both are a yes next i have the covergirl clean fresh prep and set water mist i'm gonna go ahead and say no Next is the Wet n Wild Say by the Bell, the Wanna Wrestle. Um, this is a fairly new product for me. Um, overall, I liked it. The mist is nice and fine. The scent is, is lovely, um, but it's just not enough of a like mist radius and not enough to cover my face as one. So I literally am going around like 44 times. So it's a no. <laughs> Next up is my Urban Decay All Nighter in Honey. I love this and it's about half gone. So I just need to try to use it up. Next is my Physician's Formula Butter Believe It Skin Mist. I love this. It's a yes. Next up is my Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. Um, I've used this a lot and I really do like it, so it's a yes. Next up is my Natura Siberica. Um, this is just like, like their face tonic. It's a keep. I really like the pump on this. I like the spray and everything too. It has a beautiful scent, so we'll keep. Next up, I have this Pixie Glow Mist with Propolis and Argon Oil. That is a keep. It is brand new. Next, I have two of these. This is also one of my holy grail, like, love, love, love setting sprays, but it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Dewy Set setting spray. I think this one might be the original one, and then I also have Pineapple. I like them both, so I'm going to keep them both just for now and say yes, but I know I have a lot, so if I need to declutter more, I will get rid of one. <laughs> Next is the Clarify Facial Mist Rose Water and Green Tea. It is similar to the other one that we got that I got from Tony. I am going to keep this. This one's unopened and just hopefully the sprayer is not like that. And I may honestly keep this and just use a different spray nozzle on it. So I might put this in the baby pile for now, but yes on this until I figure out how the spray nozzle is. Next up, I'll do both of these together. This one is the Dickinson's Facial Mist um, with water, rose water. And then this is the Tarte Maracuja Miracle Mist. I'm going to go ahead and pass both along. These these are just not my favorite. I like a kind of standard spray, so just for that reason, these are a no. Next up is my Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. Yes, keeping. Next is my Sweet Chef Ginger Kombucha Vitamin D Chill Mist. It's supposed to hydrate, soothe, and cool. I've never tried this, so I do want to try it, so I'm going to say yes. Next up is my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I've used it a lot. I really, really love this. When they say Ultra Fine Mist, you guys, they mean Ultra Fine, like a delicious mist. Okay, honey. Um, so, yes. Next up is the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. This is almost gone. It's probably about down to here. And I'm honestly with most of these that are like smaller bottles that I've used a ton um, that I've maybe taken to travel with and stuff. I'm going to declutter all of these. So, this is going. This is going. This one I will keep because I still have a considerable amount in here. I also love, love, love the sprayer and the nozzle on this one. Um, and again, I like to at least have a couple for travel. So that's a yes. No. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and toss this as well. I have this brand new Wet n Wild Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. Because it's still sealed and I have enough, I'm going to go ahead and say no. I have my Rebel Rouge Labs You're So Cool Stay Potion. Um, you can see it's... And you can see this one is also almost gone. I might actually keep this bottle and put this in it. Who the hell am I, y'all? Who the hell am I? Um, I love her formula and I love her spray nozzle so much. So, hey, it's a win. So, I'm going to keep. Next up, I have this Urban Decay All Nighter Summer Solstice. I will also keep that one. I have this little The Body Shop um, Strawberry Smoothing Face Mist. I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. I have this cute little mini of the Cover FX High Performance 24 Hour Setting Spray. It's still brand new. I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. I have a little mini of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut 3 in 1 Primer Water. It is literally down to like here, so I'm going to go ahead and toss that as well. And then I also have a mini of the Cover FX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. I feel like there's still a, quite a bit in here, so I'm going to go ahead and hold on to that one as well. So I think I did pretty good with the sprays, y'all. We are on a roll. Coming right back with primers. All right, beauties, we're diving into primers now. Um, I do have two of these. This is the NYX, the Marshmallow Primer. I really like this. Is it as good as people made it seem to be? Did it deserve hypeness? No. Um, but it is good. It does have some sense of blurring. I do feel like it's quite hydrating. Um, I liked it enough to get another one, but I am going to go ahead and say no to the extra because we have too many and yes to this. Next up is the No Pore Bloom Primer from Touch and Soul. It's brand new. I'm going to say no to this only because I have this one right here. And this is the Pretty Filter Icy Sherbet Primer. I love this one, so that's a definite yes. Next up, I have a few minis. I'll go through those. I have the Tula Skincare Face Filter Blurring and Moisturizing Primer. I'm going to keep both of these little ones. I actually haven't tested these yet, and I'm dying to. Next up, I also have two of these. I have the Smashbox Vitamin Glow Primers. This one is almost empty, and this one is a newer one, so I will keep these. Beautiful formula. Smells really nice. Quite hydrating and glowy. Love. Next up is the Glossy A Priming Moisturizer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. Next up is my Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer. I really love this. It's quite hydrating. Um, if you do not like coconut, you would not like this, but I think if you do have drier skin um, and you're not really into like blurring or pore filling, this is a lovely choice. So yes. Next up is my Fourth Ray Thirst Aid Hydrating Priming Moisturizer. This is a yes. Next up is the Stila One Step Correct Skin Tone Correcting and Brightening Primer. I have this one that I've used quite a bit, and I also got a backup. I'm not going to get rid of this backup because this is beautiful and she's expensive. <laughs> so yes and yes. Next up is the Elf Jelly Pop Dew Primer. It's a no. Um, I don't like jelly, tacky, weird, no, like the milk gripping primer or whatever that everybody talks about all the time. That would be something I would not use, uh, nor would I want to use it. Um, next up, I have this Photo Focus Primer Water from Wet n Wild. That's a no. Next, I have my Yensa Tone Up Primer Essential Glow. I really love this product. I love everything I've ever tried from Yensa, so yes. Next up is my Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer. Um, I think I'm also going to declutter this. I did like this better than the Jelly Pop one, but again, the, the tacky gripping primers, they're just not for me. That is a personal preference, so that is a no. Next up is the Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. I would like to try this. I also got this in a boxy pop-up, so it's a yes. Next, I have two of these little fab First Aid Beauty. I have the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I'll keep. And the Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer. I will keep those as well. And I like to keep products like this, again, you guys, for travel and stuff. So I do keep quite a few of them. Next, I have this Itty Bitty Little Mini Cover FX Water Cloud Primer. I'm going to say no. Next, I have the MAC Strobe Cream. I've never tried this. This is in pink light, so I do want to try it. Please let me know if you've tried this. I would like to know your opinions. Next, I have my Avon Magix Prime Face Perfector SPF of 20. This isn't super hydrating, which obviously is my preference, but it really does blur. Um, it does kind of give you a little bit of a cast, so if you do have a deeper skin tone, I don't know that this would work for you, but it is beautiful nonetheless, so keep. Next up, I have some more Touch and Soul. I love Touch and Soul primers, you guys. I have the No Pore Bloom Prime Essence, and then I also have the Priming Water. I don't really know what the heck the difference is supposed to be, so I think I'll just keep one and then declutter the other one. Next up is my Elf Luminous Putty Primer. I actually used this a whole, whole lot last year. And of course, I just get so much product that I can't, you know, kind of use it every single day. I would like to actually keep this, and I think I need to put it in my Shop My Stash drawer so that I can use it and remember to use it. Next up is my LYS Secure Skin Gripping Serum Primer. Again, the gripping ones are not my favorite, so I'm going to go ahead and say no to that. 
Next is my Ulta Beauty Moisturizing Primer Spray. I'd rather use kind of a standard, you know, uber moisturizing primer, so I'm going to pass that along and say no. Next is my Lorac Light Source 3-in-1 Illuminating, Illuminating? Illuminating, y'all. <laughs> Illuminating Primer. Um, I have not tried this, but I would like to. And then last for our standard skin primers is the Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Facial Oil. Um, this probably just needs to be with my skincare with my oils, but I really do like it and I do happen to keep it in here in this drawer. Next up, we're going to go into toners. I don't have that many, shockingly. So first I have the Ulla Henriksen Glow Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. Um, it's basically gone. I'm just going to continue to use this last little bit. Um, I haven't noticed a huge change as far as like dark spots go. Um, I have noticed a little bit like with these two little spots here. Um, and I will say, you know, obviously it has AHAs and things like that in it. I definitely can feel a little bit of kind of like an astringent quality to it. And I will say that if you have any broken skin or very reactive skin, I would not recommend this. Um, on days that I kind of do a peel or an intense exfoliation, um, this is a little bit irritating on my skin. So just FYI on that. Um, but I do feel like it does work. So I'm going to hold on to that. Next is my Paula's Choice Skin Balancing Pore Reducing Toner with Niacinamide. And it says for oily and combination skin. I don't even think that I've used this yet. I'm pretty sure if I did, it was one time. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. Next up, I have this Frutia Citrus Brightening Toner. You can see I've also used quite a bit of this. I am going to hold on to that. I also have the Thayer's Facial Toner with Witch Hazel. This is unscented. I was gifted this from my beautiful friend Melissa. I will hold on to that. Next is the Kopari Coconut Rose Toner. I will hold on to that. Next up, and I've gone through a few of these, is my Pixie Collagen Tonic. And you can see even this one. I'm well over halfway gone, so I will hold on to that as well. And last up for toners is the Pharmacy Deep Sweep 2% BHA's Pore Cleaning Toner with Moringa and Papaya. That's a damn mouthful. Um, I've never tried this, but I'm really intrigued by it, and I do want to test it out. So I'm keeping that as well. And we don't even have to do a cut. I'm just going to stick these right here. And then we're going to go into eye primers, and we're done with this drawer. I'm proud of myself, y'all. I am proud of myself. All right, first up, the Glam Light Icing Eyeshadow Base in Buttercream. Love, y'all know this. I've been using the heck out of it recently. The P. Louise Base. Um, I did get the shade Rumor 02. This can be slightly drying on me. That is my only qualm with it, um, but it has beautiful, full, high, high, high coverage, so that's a keep. Next up, I have my little Marc Jacobs Undercover Perfecting Coconut Eye Primer. Um, this is getting older. I am going to go ahead and toss that. Next up, I have my The Beauty Crop Stuck On You Eye Primer. I think we got these in like an Ipsy Glam bag or something. Yeah, mine is still completely sealed. We're going to go ahead and say no to that. Next up is our Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base in Fair. I'm going to go ahead and declutter this just because I, you know, these right here that I've already talked about are kind of like Holy Grail status, so I'll pass that along. Next up is the Alamar Cosmetics um, Pero Primero Primer Long Wear Sticky Pigment Base. It's a no. We all know how I feel about sticky, tacky, grippy shit. Um, so it's a no. Next up is another Holy Grail product. This is my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Um, I've definitely gotten a really good dent in here, and I will continue to use this. I really, really enjoy this primer. Next up is the Model Rock Cosmetics um, Eye Elixir. I'm going to say no only because it doesn't offer super, only because it doesn't offer a lot of coverage. That's the only reason. Um, next up is another Holy Grail. I already repurchased it. <laughs> this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. I went through an entire one already. And then last but not least, as far as the eye primers, is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, the original one. Um, I'll pass this one along. I have the anti-aging one, and I don't know where it's at. So that one's a yes, and this one is a no. I'm going to go ahead and pass that one along. And... That is it, you guys. Um, as always, I will pop up all the deets as far as how many items we kept, how many I threw in the trash, and how many we are putting in the declutter pile. Um, all right, beauties. I love you. Stay happy, healthy, and safe, and be your own best beautiful. Bye, beauties.